the space above us is uncharted territory. One of the problems with space exploration is that even our best scientists have said it's unlikely we'll make it past our solar system. It's possible to go beyond our solar system, but using current methods it would take over a thousand years to reach our nearest star, which is Proxima Centauri. Humans have accomplished a lot in a relatively short amount of time. It's anyone's guess as to where we'll be in a thousand years. We only started flying in the sky in 1903, and since then we've created sophisticated aircrafts that are able to go thousands of miles per hour. For years though, people have been witnessing mysterious crafts in our sky. Even today with the skies filled with drones, helicopters and planes, UFOs are still a source of mystery and intrigue. Imagine then the level of disbelief on seeing such objects before the actual invention of the aeroplane. Whilst we might think of the UFO as being a 20th century phenomenon, the late 19th century saw many astounding reports that brought to those who witnessed them both wonderment and fear in equal measure, but now it seems that we're learning that these crafts have also been seen in space. One recent photograph that's been shared around is this one. It appears to show what looks like a giant planet hovering above the sun. For years now believers have said that these giant crafts can be seen close to things like our sun and the moon, and some of them do look interesting. And one thing we do know is that they're not fakes, as they are coming directly from places like NASA and other space agencies. In some cases, even NASA can't explain what some of these objects are, causing them to remain a mystery. This doesn't mean that it's proof of life, it just means that whatever the object is it can't be identified. This recent one though has divided people. Believers have said they think it shows a mysterious planet, while others have put forward the idea that this is some type of ship, and it's using the sun's power. Non-believers though have said this isn't a ship, but it's actually a coronal mass ejection. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration said the following, Coronal mass ejections are large expulsions of plasma and magnetic fields, and these come from the sun's corona. They can eject billions of tons of coronal material, and carry an embedded magnetic field that is stronger than the background solar wind interplanetary magnetic field strength. CMEs travel outward from the sun at speeds ranging from slower than 250 km per second to as fast as nearly 3,000 km per second. The fastest Earth-directed CMEs can reach our planet in as little as 15 to 18 hours. Slower CMEs can take several days to arrive, End quote. Skeptics point out that this is what people are seeing, but not everyone buys this theory, with one person saying the following. Although I agree that this explanation does explain some of the reports, the majority of CMEs do not look like what we're seeing here. These are spherical objects, and CMEs normally always look like giant waves of plasma. When looking through images of CMEs, I couldn't find another one that looked like this one. Usually they're thrown out into the cosmos, and don't just sit by the sun like this. End quote. Or skeptics pointed out that these cavities can take on the appearance that something large is there, when in reality what people are seeing is just a CME. Developed as part of the European Space Agency and NASA's Helio Viewer project, the Solar Heliospheric Observatory allows anyone to view its entire library. Over the years it's provided some incredible photographs of our sun. However, some people have noticed large anomalies near our sun. One of the most interesting ones is this photograph allegedly showing a cigar-shaped object. Interestingly, some compared this to a Muamua, which was the first known interstellar object that was detected traveling through our solar system. This image was captured by someone using the Helio Viewer. This allows you to explore the sun, and the program was developed as part of the European Space Agency and the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. As stated on the NASA website, it provides a desktop program that enables users to call up images of the sun from the past 15 years. More than a million images from SOHO can be accessed, 
and new images from NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory are being added every day. When this photograph was discovered, it soon made the rounds online, with various people suggesting different theories to explain it. One person said the following, I think this could be a genuine UFO. I've seen similar looking crafts and have no idea what they are. However, another person had another take on the photos. They said that the cigar-shaped object was put there by NASA to hide something. They say this has been done before with things like Moon and Mars photos. The man claimed that there must be something interesting behind the image, and this is the reason they covered it. As of right now, NASA has said this is just an anomaly, further saying the following. Although they may seem pesky, these artifacts and anomalies are normal. They remind us that images like any other form of data don't speak for themselves. What we see is a product both of nature and the instruments we use to observe it. One user said the following. It makes you wonder how many of these Oumuamua-like objects have travelled through our solar system without us knowing. This can't be the first time it's happened. What if our solar system is full of them, and it's only now we've picked up on them? A.V. Loeb, who is the chair of Harvard's Department of Astronomy, claims that he thinks he's found proof of extraterrestrials, and this comes in the form of Oumuamua. Loeb started to open his mind to the possibility that this mysterious object could be something else, and that as mentioned it may be a piece of alien tech, and that it made its way into our solar system. Those who heard the professor putting forward this theory gave him problems, saying that it's not very often that someone in this field has an open mind, and puts forward these kinds of theories, and saying that when it happens they should be told that it's appreciated. So what do you make of these interesting photos? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.